Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Heads On with Python class and today we are going to see how we can perform analysis of variance abbreviated as ANOVA uh, using the Python. So basically analysis of variance is a statistical analysis technique used to test the three or more groups uh, for mean differences of continuous response variables. In this tutorial we are going to discuss the two types of analysis of variance the one-way ANOVA and the two-way ANOVA. Uh, the one-way ANOVA compares levels or groups of a single factor with one continuous dependent variables, while the two-way ANOVA compares levels of two or more factors with one continuous dependent variables. So let's start by importing uh, the basic uh, library that we are going to use in this analysis. So I'm going to use the Panda library the start modes and uh, the ordinary list square method. So let's import those libraries. And from start modes, root API, we import. Okay, these are libraries which I'm going to use. Now, uh, we load the data. I'm going to use this sample data called soil. The file for this data is called soil. And this file has several uh, factor vari variables like groups, contour, depth, GP, and blocks. And the continuous variables like pH and nitrogen ratio and the density and the other soil uh, elements like potassium, sodium, and the soil conductivity. So I'm going to perform a one-way analysis of variance uh, between uh, soil pH and the depth, which is one-way ANOVA. So let's go back. Now we load our data. That is I name. The data is data frame. Now I'm loading pd.read. And the, my data is in CSV format. Soil dot CSV, and uh, you can command print to see the file loaded. So we print df dot head. So if you command this one. You can see that we get this output here. So this is the output that we uh, basically correspond with what we have in this data frame. So after loading the data, now let's stop this function here. Now let's fit the model which show the relationship between the soil pH and the uh, depth. Okay, so let's check the depth. The factor variable depth they have these levels or categories 0 to 10, 30 to oct, 30 to 60, and we have 30 to 60 again, 60 to 90, and just those. So there are about four levels from this factor variable depth. So now the model for this factor variable is going to be OLS and uh, we are going to check the relationship between the uh, soil pH with the depth okay and the test should take the data from the data frame Okay, dot fit. So after fitting the model between the pH level and the depth, now let's perform the analysis of variance, which is one way analysis of variance is analysis of variance is equal to SM dot starts and over underscore linear model of the uh, model that we have mod 
comma type two. So then let's command the output for analysis of variance of our model. Print analysis of variance of our model. And now let's run this one. Okay, we have the output here. So you can see the depth at a degree of freedom uh, three. We have the residual degree of freedom that is 44. Uh, the sum square and other information and the, the last column is the p-value and the p-value you can see for the depth is very small compared to the 0 0.05 level of significance and therefore this indicates that there is association between the uh, soil depth and the pH level variation. So uh, this is how you can perform analysis of variance basically the one way ANOVA. So if we are going to check for a two-way ANOVA, okay, that means we are going to have two factor variables uh, in relation to the pH of the soil. So now let's copy this one for the two-way ANOVA. I'm going to copy this, okay, and I'm modifying the name of the mod, oh, that is mod 1. And I'm going to add another variable. Let's pick uh, another variable. So we have the depth, we have the contour, we have the group. So let's pick the contour and see if the contour have the association with the soil pH. So we add the uh, contour, okay, in the model. So then, uh, we run the analysis of variance. Okay. I'm just copying that one. And uh, remember this one, let's rename this because this is for two-way ANOVA and the model is mod1. And then we command print of the analysis of variance or, or AOV1. Okay. Now, let's run this one, but let us stop this analysis of for variance for one way. Then let's see the output. So we have the output here. So you can see the depth and the contour. So let's see the effects from this p-value. What does it tell? So the p-value here, it shows the, uh, the contribution of depth in the variation of the pH soil. But the contour here, its p-value is greater, is greater than 0 0.05 and therefore there is no association between the pH value or pH soil or pH of the soil and the uh, contour. Maybe let's change the contour variable and pick another variable which is, or another factor basically, which is categorical. And uh, I'm taking the soil blocks, okay? And they have uh, four levels uh, from one up to four. So let's change the contour and then put the blocks, okay? And run this one, okay? Does the blocks have a significance in the Soil pH, yeah, there is a significant contribution of the blocks uh, or sample blocks that have been taken from the soil on the pH of the soil. Uh, and the soil depth re remains significant uh, to the pH contribution. So, and basically when you are performing a two-way analysis, okay, two-way analysis of variance, it's better or it's important to include the interaction between the two uh, variables. So let's zoom in a little bit. And uh, we add the interaction term, uh, which is depth and the block. So we have the depth, uh, close block. Okay, let's run this one and see. Okay, now we have the output for the interaction. 
and uh, you can see uh, the depth here still shows that it have the significance contribution or association with the soil pH level so also the blocks shows that it is statistically significant and uh, the interaction here is greater than the uh, p level of significance that is uh, 0.05 and therefore the interaction uh, is not statistically significant therefore we go back to the main effects and uh, interpret these two so therefore we can conclude by saying that uh, the difference between some of the depth level pH are statistically significant and the uh, uh, the blocks here is the difference between some of the depth levels pH are statistically significant therefore this is how uh, you can conduct the analysis of variance using the Python thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like comment and share the links of this video goodbye